Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Moving right along, we've got another LEGO Batman, the video game video for you. This is Level 5, The Face-Off Story. As you can see here, we're going to skip over those collectibles and fall a little short of that hero stud requirement, sadly, but truly. In fact, I think we probably could have got it, but we didn't push too hard for it. But we're going to jump right into uh, some cutscenes, then, of course, get into some gameplay, make our way through here, and this will actually complete... The first sort of episode, if you will, of the hero side of things. So pretty cool. We're moving right along. Go ahead and hop in the old Batmobile, choose the face-off, and get ready to, well, face off. We finally got control of our heroes, and we're going to go ahead and advance a little way up the street here and find ourselves greeted by a bunch of bad guys. Now, there's this bank truck here, too. We're going to uh, utilize that here in a hot second. You might notice, too, the bad guys are straight up pushing this thing around. You know that old uh, saying, you know, when adrenaline kicks in, you can certainly do some uh, unprecedented things. Well, these guys are pushing that big old bank truck around. That's pretty impressive, but... Uh, the goal here is to take out the bad guys and, of course, smash the box in the front right side of your screen. It's going to give you some bars that you can build up. And in fact, it's going to give us uh, like a sort of a cage, if you will. And uh, it's a scanner is what it turns out to be. Uh, we've got to build up the other part here, too, which can be found by smashing the telephone booth right next to the old gate. Once both of those things are in place, flip both switches. Not that Robin is helping out here. Thanks, guy. Uh, then we can go ahead and bring the bank truck and park it on that grate and get it scanned. Now, I fail miserably at lining this up, so uh, don't laugh too hard at me, but it works. I get the job done. Sorry about that, Robin. But look at this. It falls short. It's all... Oh, approved. Ready to go. Here, let me open the door for you, sir. And it opens the door for us, so we can go ahead and drive on through to the other side. Now you can see there's a couple of snipers dropping in with some weird uh, kind of uh, Mary Poppins type stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what, why or what that caused. Uh, anyway, moving on. We'll go ahead and use the uh, Robberang, not the Batarang, the Robberang, to go ahead and take it out. Look at the the agility, and uh, that's a smart Batarang. I, I guess a Robberang, I guess. I, regardless, it's, uh, it's good. We'll go ahead and smash everything around after taking those guys out. In the back right corner, next to the ledge, there is a glowing piece of stuff. Smash it, smash everything around it, grab those bouncing bricks, build them into a suit dispenser. And we'll go ahead and place Batman right here on this little platform. We'll toggle over to our other character, use Robin to use the pressure switch here, push it around. And uh, I guess it's a push switch, not a pressure switch, my bad. We'll go ahead and glide across with our newly found suit. Once we get on the other side, we're going to go ahead and use our Batarang to take out the top of this spinning propeller thingy. And uh, it actually takes down the laser beams, and we can get in there and flip the switch. And look at that. We've now got access, not only for Robin, but of course, our bank truck as well, as that's kind of been the key moving along through this level. Go ahead and hop right back into the driver's seat, get our yeet on as we almost fall off the ledge there. We want to park it right here on this pressure switch. That's right, there was an actual pressure switch. So we'll get inside here to the new area. We'll go get our cha-cha-cha-cha-cha on. We find some more people rolling in on motorcycles. We'll go ahead and take them all out. Now our goal right now is we got to find some bricks to build a Robin suit dispenser because we need the old magnetic feet to get up top and make our next move. Now look at that, we've got some glowing bricks down here towards the front right side of your screen. And we got some more baddies. We got a ratty, certainly, and we'll take them all out. Okay, good. Oh, wait, one last dude, flip you over. Okay. 
All right, now, this one is a little trickier. You gotta smash and then move the vehicle. So smash until you can't smash anymore, and then park the bank truck on the money sign. And look at that, it goes ahead and erupts the rest of the bricks, giving us what we need to build that Robin Soup dispenser. Now we got the magnetic feats. Now, as soon as I hopped on the bike, I felt like I lost my suit. But in fact, it wasn't the case at all. I just removed the big old boots. Now, we'll go ahead and yeet ourselves up here. That's right. Jumping always makes things go a little faster. Although, I don't recommend jumping on this next section here. Uh, you do have to jump from one bar to the other, but a lot of people will try to speed this up and jump, jump, jump along the same bar. I found that that was not good for me. Now, I didn't fail in this particular situation, but uh, I often do when I do that. This is another one, too. Jump straight up. Don't be pressing right or left, as it might cause you to fall and start that process all over again, which isn't a huge deal. But for me, as I am trying to showcase my awesomeness, and actually, really, that's not it. I'm just trying to guide you guys through as quickly and efficiently as possible. Uh, I don't want to be falling or rinsing and repeating if I don't have to, so... Uh, all right, we got uh, we got a nice little grapple plug that we found from some debris on the ground here. We built that up so Batman can get up here safely. Uh, up top, we've got this, uh, looks like a window washing platform. We'll go ahead and smash everything on it, build the second switch, flip them both at the same time, and after a long pause, it's going to go ahead and raise the roof. No, it's not going to raise it. We're going to raise us to the roof. Uh, not quite. We get to a ventilation station. Oh, no! It's cut to... I know some of you are probably thinking, those are some pretty good sound effects you were making there, Brian. Actually, that was the game. So if you were thinking I was making those oozing, popping, crackling sound, that wasn't me. That was actually the game. But but they kind of sounded like me, if I'm being honest. All right, hey, moving along, we've got uh, Two-Face. And uh, we got a couple of cha-chas to give him, to send him packing. As you can see, we've got two hearts depleted from the meter there. And he has made his way back into an area that we cannot access at this point. So make your way to the back left corner there. And you can see that we've got some bricks that you can smash and build into a Robin suit dispenser, giving us the hazard suit. Now out in this little control panel here, we've got a few bricks that we can slurp up. And we're going to need 25 of them to go ahead and build what ends up being like a... It's really weird. I'm not sure why we build it. I feel like we're in the old bayou or something because we build like a hovercraft. You'll, you'll see. Um, all right, so smash, bang, and boom. Everything in the room. Collect all of the yellow, red, and uh, I guess maybe some green ones too. I don't know if the green ones stick around or not. We'll see here. Do they stick around? I can slurp up a green one. Yes, I do. So, all right, we'll go ahead and just continue to jump from platform to platform, slurping up all these bricks left behind. And you can see on the back how many you have. It looks like we've got uh, 19. We're almost there. Go ahead and jump over to the far right side. Grab these guys. <laughs> Tractor beam. <laughs> All right. We got one last platform here. We'll go ahead and smash and grab. We only need the 25, so no sense. And, well, okay, I got a few extras. We'll go ahead and press and hold the button to deploy all of our hazardous bricks that are going to turn into, yep, I already told you, it's a, it's a hovercraft. It's the old, uh, look at this, it's a dual seater, too. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's probably a few different words for these, uh, and yes, I wasn't trying to uh, elude you with any weirdness. It really is like uh, some sort of a swamp <laughs> raft, basically. And uh, we got it though; it works. It gets us across the green sludge. I'm doing a quick lap around here, collecting some studs because you know me. Got to get them all. Now I did start to panic and think, wait a minute, what if there is a mini kit at the end of this list and I can't get away from it? So I detour yet again. And I'm going to take it and go and park it right in front of the back stairs here. Get up close and personal with Two-Face. Give him the old, you know, hello. And uh, he actually takes off and uh, leaves a bunch of bouncing bricks behind. And he throws out some more bad guys. So, uh, you know, it's not needed. But I do recommend you toss your Batarang or Robarang out there so they can take out a majority of these bad guys. So I'm kind of like building a, a, a platform. And then I toss the, the uh, there we go. You can see it. And I build a platform while it's doing its work. And then it returns to me like a good little boomerang. And uh, then I'll toss it out there again, build the next platform. And although I haven't taken them all out, it certainly makes the final step a lot easier. Now, we're going to need two people, or at least Batman in the gliding suit, in order to complete this. Because there are two switches that need to be flipped. 
And of course, Robin can flip the one, but he can't glide to that up high left one. So we're going to need a Batman for that. So if uh, he's stuck back here, and I'm not sure what's going on here, but a little game of musical characters there back and forth. I literally was just hitting the button to toggle characters and it was not working for me. But uh, eventually we get all the way to the very back. We're going to get up top. We're going to flip this first switch. Well, I guess I can switch to Robin and then slurp these guys up. I, I don't think I need these again. I'm not sure why I, I got distracted with this, but I'll flip the switch. The AI will jump across for me, saving me any, uh, I don't know, bad jumps or whatever. It looks, it looks like I might be able to get Robin up there somehow. I, maybe you can double jump there. Maybe I'm wrong. And uh, all right, we got 22 bricks slurped up, and we're going to go ahead and make our way into what seems to be some sort of an old arcade type game. Uh, word to the wise, don't let those little uh, bars hit you. Yeah, there you go. That was just an example. I, I mean, I could have avoided it, honestly, but I just wanted to show you what happens. <laughs> yeah, right. That's totally what happened. I didn't accidentally just get slaughtered there. No, I did. I did. I did. All right, we got another little short cutscene. Now, this one actually had uh, some copyrighted audio again, just like the last one. You might have noticed it was kind of half and half. But this is the Riddler and Two-Face uh, sort of uh, cutscene, if you will. We'll drop in and immediately get shot by the old coin flipping fool. Uh, take a couple more of those uh, hearts away from him. He'll jump up top and he'll still attack us from up there, but it's a little less effective. Go ahead and build the bricks that bouncing on the ground. Well, you actually have to smash the gold. That's right. Smash the gold. And uh, look at that. Once you get that first pile done did, it's actually going to give you a couple of bricks that you can... I, I believe you have to attach them as the lock. Take out the lock, and it actually drops another pile of bricks. We can smash those down, and we've got this weird apparatus here. It's actually a reflection panel. Once you successfully reflect the shot from above, you actually have two more piles of bricks you can use to build up two more locks. Build both of those up, smash them with a batarang or a rubberang, and then of course hit that gold. Once both piles of gold are smashed, some bouncing bricks should be available. Build them up left side first, then the right side, and you've got yourself another deflector. The deflector is going to bounce that shot back up at him, knock his block off, sort of. It's going to actually give him the, uh, well, the courage that he needs to come down and face us without his invincibility on. And once he drops down, we take a couple hearts off. I'm going to go ahead and show you that there are a bunch of blue and purple studs in each of these cages. Now, there's also some collectible bits in here. Now, you might have noticed that was one of five. There are five total treasure chests that you can smash and grab. I'm assuming it's a mini kit. To be honest with you, I didn't smash them all. But uh, we're going to save that for that free play. But I wanted to get some of those studs. And at the beginning, I mentioned I probably could have got that stud hero requirement. But ultimately, I opted to not smash everything and, and worry that I might end up with a collectible. All right. It's basically the same rule. Rinse and repeat. He's going to drop down. You're going to give him the old business. He's going to jump back up. Send some bad guys out. Oh, look at that. We got shoot the goon. Shoot the goon! That's actually shot the goon, but shoot the goon sounds better because it's like the old saying, shoot the moon! <laughs> Ralph, to the moon, Alice. Anyways, uh, moving right along. Moving right along. We've got uh, uh, the old mind control here. We already took down Two-Face, but the Riddler is using him again to go ahead and help him fight this battle. We're not going to take it, though. We're going to keep toggling back and forth, giving him the attacks, switch, attack, switch, attack, switch. Eventually, you'll get some hearts depleted, and that meter will be gone. And I'm not sure what's happening right here. I got To be honest with you, I should have done a fair amount of damage by now, but it's like he's invincible. Eventually, Riddler drops back down. You can take those last two hearts out and get into the final cutscene, which we will see you on the other side. And I guess that's not true. There is another cutscene as we have officially ended our first sort of episode. Like I just said, we got our first hero episode completed. So the first five missions are co -co -co complete, and free play is unlocked. We got a ton of studs, but unfortunately not enough. And in fact, we also skipped those collectibles. All the mini kits are still waiting for us, as well as that red or power brick, depending on what you want to call it. Now, eventually, it's going to take us uh, and count through all the studs and then tell us to continue story. Now, we're going to go ahead and do that and show you the final little cutscene. It actually goes into the credits and a bunch of other stuff, too, which we have removed. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump into what is officially the final cutscene for this video and the first episode of all five missions. 
Here we go. Robin and Batman riding off into the night with all the villains locked up in, well, the asylum. But for how long is the question? All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for Lego Batman Level 5, the face-off story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button for me. That's going to do it. As always, until next time, see ya.